You just want cruelty to beget cruelty. You're not superior to people who are cruel to you. You're just a whole bunch of new cruel people. A whole bunch of new cruel people being cruel to some other people who will end up being cruel to you. The only way anyone can live in peace is if they're prepared to forgive. Why don't you break the cycle? Why should we? What is it that you actually want? War. Ah, and when this war is over, when, when you have the whole homeland free from humans, what do you think it's going to be like? Do you know? Have you thought about it? Have you given it any consideration? Because you're very close to getting what you want. What's it going to be like? Paint me a picture. Are you going to live in houses? Do you want people to go to work? What'll be holidays? Ooh, will there be music? Do you think people will be allowed to play violins? Who will make the violins? Well? Oh, you don't actually know, do you? Because just like every other tantruming child in history, Bonnie, you don't actually know what you want. So, let me ask you a question about this brave new world of yours. When you've killed all the bad guys and it's all perfect and just and fair, when you have finally got it exactly the way you want it, what are you going to do with the people like you? The troublemakers. How are you going to protect your glorious revolution from the next one? We'll win. Oh, will you? Well, maybe. Maybe you will win. But nobody wins for long. The wheel just keeps turning. So come on. Break the cycle. Why are you still talking? Because I'm trying to get you to see! And I'm almost there! Do you know what I see, Doctor? A box. A box with everything I need. A 50% chance. For us too. And we're off! Fingers on buzzers! Are you feeling lucky? Are you ready to play the game? Who's gonna be the quickest? Who's gonna be the luckiest? This is not a game! No, it's not a game, sweetheart. And I mean that most sincerely. Why are you doing this? Yes, I'd quite like to know that too. You set this up, why? Where? Because it's not a game, Kate. This... this is a scale model of war. Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die! You don't know whose children are gonna scream and burn, how many hearts will be broken, how many lives shattered, how much blood will spill until everybody does what they're always going to have to do from the very beginning. SIT! Down and talk! Listen to me, listen. Just, I just, I just want you to think. Do you know what thinking is? It's just a fancy little word for changing your mind. I will not change my mind. Then you will die, stupid. Alternatively, you could step away from that box. You could walk right out of that door. You could stand your own revolution down. No. I'm not stopping this, Doctor. I started it. I will not stop it. You think they'll let me go after what I've done? You're all the same, you screaming kids. You know that? Look at me. I'm unforgivable. Well, here's the unforeseeable. I forgive you. After all you've done, I forgive you. You don't understand. I don't understand? Are you kidding? Me? Of course I understand. I mean, do you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know! I did worse things than you could ever imagine, and when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count! And do you know what to do with all that pain? Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight till it burns your hand, and you say this. No one will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I know, I know, thank you. Well? It's empty, isn't it? 
both boxes. There's nothing in them. Just buttons. Of course. But you know how you know that? Because you've started to think like me. It's hell, isn't it? No one shall have to think like that. And no one ever will. Not on our watch. Gotcha. How can you be so sure? Because you have a disadvantage, Sigel. I know that face. Well, this is all very well, but we know the boxes are empty now. We can't forget that. No, well, uh, you said that the last 15 times. You didn't wipe my memory. No, just Kate's. Oh, oh, and your little friends here, of course. When they wake up, they won't remember what you've done. It'll be our secret. You're going to protect me? Are you one of us now? Whether you like it or not. I don't understand how you could just forgive me. Because I've been where you have. There was another box. I was going to press another button. I was going to wipe out all of my own kind. Man, woman and child. I was so sure I was right. What happened? Same thing that happened to you. I let Clara Oswald get inside my head. Trust me, she doesn't leave. <laughs>